Welcome to part 6 of Learning Lua. In this tutorial we're going to cover the use of functions inside the Lua scripting language. You might be wondering why would I need to use a function inside of an application. Functions provide you with the opportunity to create a segment of programming code that can be called as many times as you need it, as frequently as you need, to do certain computations. In this example we're going to look at a, several different ways that you can use functions and return values out of it and return values or be able to perform certain operations. The basics of a function include the keyword function that declares and lets Lua know that you are creating a function. Every function must have a unique name that is a non-reserved keyword you can pass parameters to the function to give to do calculations. Of course, any function is going to have a certain number of lines of programming code in it to perform the operation that needs to be done. And you can return values back out of the function back to your original call mechanism. All functions must end with the keyword end. So let's take a look at how to create some functions. There are two ways to create a function. Generally, you will see a function declared with the keyword function, a name, and any parameters. The parentheses are required inside of your, your application, but parameters are not required. All functions must end with the keyword end. That's how Lua knows that you have completed your function operation. So in this particular function, I'm just going to output a message. So nice, simple function has this one operation that is to output information to our console. We can call that by just simply doing add one. And as you can see it calls the function and prints the output. A second method of declaring functions is to assign the function to a variable. Both functions work equally well. The primary difference is that the second methodology the function can call itself. So add to is able to actually call itself from within the function. Being able to call itself does give us the ability to re create recursive algorithms that can be very useful in many programming situations. So let's look at passing parameters to a function. In this case, we're going to pass a parameter. That parameter will be stored in the variable number one. Number one is automatically declared for the function add one and can be used inside the function. Now I'm getting an error currently because number one or add one is not currently passing a value. So it's passing a nil into number one and that cannot have a mathematical operation done to it. So if we give it a value, now we're able to pass information into the add1 function and we get the result. Many times we will want to store information that is coming out of a function in a variable. So let's create a temporary variable and set that equal to the add2 results. Instead of receiving or outputting the print statement, let's again use the do a result calculation. In this particular case, we're just calling the add to function and we're storing in the variable result to the values 5 plus 3. And we'll return the result of this calculation using the return value. This is now stored in the variable temp and we can see the value coming back out of temp with just a print statement. Or if you wanted to shortcut that a little bit, you could do print add to, give you the same results. So we're able to see what is returned out of the function nice and easy. If your function returns more than one result, you can work with that as well. In this case, I'm storing two values, result 2 and result 3. Result 2 will have the value of 8. Result 3 will have the value of 42. Temp 1 will be set equal to result 2. Temp 2 will be set equal to result 3 and we can see those there we go so you're able to pass multiple values back of course these do not have to be numeric it can be string the output will still be the same so if we're able to wanting to do some complex calculations you can easily pass information into the system you can also pass multiple parameters into a function so back here on our first function where we've got add one we've got number one and maybe we have number two 
and we want to add those together. So 1 plus 2 plus 1, we get the output value of 4. Functions are extremely flexible inside of the Lua programming language. It allows us to create some very complex applications. This is just scratching the surface as we progress with our tutorials. You're going to see lots of opportunities for much more complex applications. We have a lot more tutorials and lessons forthcoming. If you'd like to follow what's happening, you can follow us on Twitter at Dr. Brian Burton or Facebook at Burton's Media Group, or follow us on our website, burtonsmediagroup.com. If you'd like notification through YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button.